Hi, this is Will Cook of the Will Cook Group at Keller Williams Luxury Homes. Welcome back to my video blog. Today we're going to talk about the four most common reasons why your home insurance company will drop your coverage. Today we're going to talk about the four most common reasons why your insurance company will drop your home insurance coverage. But before we get started, I'd like to bring your attention to a couple of buttons on the video blog. If you're a buyer, click search for homes and we'll send you a list of homes available based on the criteria that you select. If you're a seller, click free home value report and we'll send you a snapshot of today's value of your home. Now back to our topic. Homeowners usually see their payments to the home insurance company as a necessary evil. The coverage they offer helps protect your home, your belongings, and your investment. But those payments can hit your wallet hard. Shelling out thousands of dollars to an insurance company for coverage may seem like a large financial burden. But did you know that an insurance company can choose to, to drop you or to not renew your policy? Circumstances like violating the terms of your agreement, not paying your premiums, or committing fraud can jeopardize your coverage. But your coverage can also be jeopardized if your insurer feels that you or your home are too risky to cover. In circumstances like these, the insurer may cancel coverage and you could have a hard time finding another company to provide coverage. Insurers might also decide to not renew your policy for many reasons that might not even ever cross your mind. So consider these common yet unapparent circumstances that could threaten your policy. The first most common reason that an insurance company might drop your coverage is because you have an old roof. This might surprise you, but having an old roof may prompt your insurance company to ask you to replace it or risk losing coverage. 30 years is considered an average life for a roof. Once the roof goes beyond that time, there's a greater chance of damage, such as water intrusion leaking or water leaking into the home. And water damage is the most common insurance claim. So insurers want to make sure that you're protecting your home properly. But age alone won't trigger a non-renewal. Your insurer may perform periodic checks on your home and if it sees an aged roof with loose shingles or trees hanging over the roof that could potentially fall on it or rotting wood or missing railings, then you can expect a letter from your insurance company requesting you to make repairs. The second most common reason that an insurance company might reconsider coverage is because you have too many claims. As unfair as it might sound, an insurance company will drop you if you put too many claims in. You might think, I pay my premium so they should cover me. But news alert, the insurance companies don't think that way. An insurer will most likely drop the policy if you file more than one claim in a policy term. And this is especially true if the multiple claims are for the same thing. The reason is because insurance is based on averages and the average consumer files a claim once every nine or 10 years. So if a homeowner files more frequently than that, then you're above average and more than likely not profitable for the insurance company. So also keep in mind that if you bundle your insurance, your home and your auto insurance, they might also take into account your auto claims. So before you file your next claim, check your history and make sure it doesn't create a flag for the insurance company to reconsider coverage. Sometimes you have no control over whether your insurance company decides to cover you or not. Case in point, and this is the third reason that an insurance company might not renew, is that they might decide that they just don't want to cover a specific area or state any longer. This might happen if the insurance company is finding that there are too many claims that are coming in for that specific area or state. And that might occur if your area is prone to flooding or fires or natural disasters or crime. If you live in an area with many claims, then the insurance company might decide it's not a viable option for them to consider coverage. But there are ways to find another insurer. So if you work with an independent broker, discuss other home insurance options. And if you can't find anything there, then call your state. They might know insurance companies that cover areas that 
might you know, be considered higher risk. And the fourth reason that your insurance company might not renew its policy with you is because of your pets. So home insurance companies often cover pets in the policy's liability coverage in case the pet injures someone or damages another person's property. However, insurance policies may exclude certain pets like exotic animals like snakes or specific breeds. So an insurer may be concerned if your pet if you, or if you've already filed claims for your pet if it like bit the neighbor's child or destroyed the neighbor's fence. So if you have a high risk pet that has a history of biting or is an excluded breed, the company may allow you to exclude the pet from your policy. But keep in mind that if your dog bites someone, then you would be legally liable and financially responsible for any medical coverage or any damages or possible lawsuits. There are steps you can take to stay in your home insurance company's good graces. Perform your regular maintenance. Check your property for any overhanging trees or rotting wood or any roof damage. And if you find an issue, make the necessary repairs before it becomes a bigger issue and your insurance company sees it and threatens to drop your policy. Don't use your insurance company or your insurance policy as a maintenance policy by filing claims that barely meet your deductible. Filing too many claims can cause an insurance company to raise your rates and even drop you. So have money set aside for your regular maintenance and repairs and save your insurance claims for the major ones, major claims. Thanks for watching. If you have any other real estate related questions, topics, or questions that I can answer, please give me a call, text, or email, and I'd be happy to make a video about it. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time.